I'm I'm waiting for him to join, guys. <laughs> okay, you Why must up I feel like what? that? Why must I shake that? Okay, Why Ricky, Ricky, dog? Ricky, Ricky. Oh up? my God, I can't believe I'm interviewing you. What? I'm interviewing <laughs> you. you can't you can't believe you interviewing me. I'm interviewing you. Okay. Man, come on. <laughs> Little sister, what's up? You know already. You, I appreciate you, man. You always love and show so, so, so much support every time I have anything coming out. I know I, I got a home in Atlanta. But that has changed. Like, you everywhere. And you, I mean, what's up with that? Like, that's crazy. The Time yeah, Jordan Morning Show. Yeah, it's crazy because, first of all, shout out to Alabama State University. Alabama. Hey, uh, a lot a lot has changed. You know, Tom Jordan retired. So they took my morning show and they moved us over into uh, what they call Urban AC, ages 25, 54, for us grown folks music. Okay. Not as old as playing stuff like, you know, the Whispers and the Manhattans, but we <laughs> play stuff that the hip hop stations don't play anymore. So, right, right, uh, right. So That's it's, a lot of, it's a lot of fun. I already know. So are we going to get uh, Ricky Smiley in the morning show cruise? How is that going to work? And Yeah, I mean, we look, we had a cruise. We had the cruise set up, cruise ready to, was ready to go. We uh -huh. was going out of Baltimore. We was going from Baltimore to Bermuda. And then the, the damn, the, the damn thing, the, the thing came. <laughs> hey, hey, Tisha. This for the, this is for regular corona, and this for people that got corona with bad breath. <laughs> that shit is gonna help you facilitate the bad breath. Okay, this one I right can't. here. Wait, this, is that like what is that? This for the corona and bad breath. I cannot. This for them uncles that smoke cigarettes and eat sweets at night, and and, and they get up and go to the grocery store. But this is just the regular co coronavirus. <laughs> okay, I got the regular one. I'm on the regular vibe. You need one. Now, actually, <laughs> that's the good mask, the one on the right, because it closes on the side. They said those are the ones that you're supposed to wear. Not oh, the this ones right here. Yeah. 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 And, you and, own and, something and with that one. They about, to, they about to make an announcement that uh, they're going to make everybody start wearing these or whatever. And then y'all have to make sure, like, every five minutes, you washing your hands. I'm at home. Even I'm at home? My, like at home, I'm washing my hands every. I don't know. I'm just. I was a germaphobe anyway. I was already stocked up on Clorox wipes because <laughs> right. I would wipe down everything anyway. Just being a, a neat freak for real. Right. So listen, I got another question. I mean, I know we're gonna talk about this Corona because the Corona yeah. is like taking over the whole of uh, the United States, the world. But so, do you hate when people ask you to do my name, Lil Dare? Nobody asks anymore. Everybody, everybody asks to see my grandson. That's the only thing they want to see. They, they don't. Yes. That's all they care. Everybody like, where Grayson? Like nobody like, how you doing? Where Grayson? Where Grayson? No, no, no. I, I was, I was actually gonna start the interview with my name, Lil Daryl, and I was gonna be glad. But then. I got the Lil Daryl glasses somewhere. Where are they? You bring them motherfuckers out. <laughs> <laughs> I do it every. I don't know where the glasses at. I, I do it every now and then, but. I surprise people with it. When they yell it out, I can't do it. But if they just let me surprise them, I go ahead. I, I'm like, my name is Lil Daryl. <laughs> you Y'all got some milk. <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. So are you bringing, are you bringing the um, old church lady? You bringing her? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, coming to. Huh? She coming too, to the Tom oh, yeah. Jordan. You taking over the Tom Jordan syndicated radio, and oh, yeah. Yeah, so we do Bernie Jenkins. We do Bernie Jenkins church announcements every week, and then we do this thing where on Fridays where Bernie Jenkins call heaven and talk to all of the deceased celebrities. Let me turn my goddamn phone up. He said he called you. Wait, what? <laughs> we call heaven. Bernie Jenkins calls heaven and talk to all the deceased celebrities. Lord have mercy. It's funny. It's funny as hell. You got to hear it. You can go if you want to hear clips. You can go to RickySmileTheMorningShow dot com to hear clips. But it is hilarious. Yeah, I'm crying here. So is it? So okay. So what else besides? Okay, well, so we bringing some new music to 
to the um to the show and which which you have taken over now Tom Joyner morning show is now Ricky Smiley morning show right because you already had that and that's that's the show I used to come on all the time so and now I get to come huh? so what they did what they did was Headcrack left us and went to do his own morning show so you have okay Headcrack, yeah you have Headcrack in the morning hustle right okay so then and then when Tom Joyner retired, we took over Tom Joyner. So Brad, Eva, Gary with the T, you know, Special K, we all moved over to uh, Rick Smiley Morning Show based out of Dallas, Texas. And okay. Haircrack is in Atlanta. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, so that's I've been, great. I've been doing the morning show, like like I got a studio, because after Corona came, I had to just stay, I'm at home. So I do the morning show Ricky, right, right here. <clears throat> Ricky, once you hit a certain level, your ass was at home anyway. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, where Ricky? I come in there like, eh, yeah, nah, that thing is it. At, I said, at, what? At, at home, at home, up in this bitch with my drawers on. Yeah, doing your own thing. I mean, but that's what's up. I ain't mad at you because we can work from home. It's nothing wrong yeah. with working from home. It's just that some artists we like to see. We get the energy from you, and it's like, yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? I get to see Ricky. I, I mean, you know, I live Remember that night we was at the Improv? I did a show at the Improv? Yes, yes. In, in Ohio, right? Right, in Ohio, in Cleveland. All y'all came out, and we had so much fun that night. Yes, yes, and yes. And we did, a, we did a show somewhere together. It was me and you on the ticket, and I, and, and that was, I think that was the last time I seen you. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, I got a newborn. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And, and the world can't get over the fact that my boyfriend is 24. And so it's all about what make it's all about what make you happy. Yeah. Now now if he was your age and you was his age, wouldn't nobody say nothing. And he was making me miserable, right? Then that'd just be I mean, people always got something to say so it's all right. good it's i've all been about you and it's all about your happiness. wait and you you had a show you had a show um on tv one right right the ricky smiley uh uh ricky smiley for real for real with your with your grandson how is that yeah i mean it, it's cool we was doing it but what happened was in right, 2015 right right so all the kids went to college you're talking about this show <laughs> let me see yes right yes so Ricky smiled for real. So all the kids went off to college. So we can't film it because he's at Alabama State. Got you. She's at uh, uh, pre-med at Baylor. And my daughter is at uh, Tennessee State. Aww. And my oldest son graduated, you know, graduated college. And and that and that's 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 what happened. So you got the grandkids? So I got he around here somewhere. Let me find him. Let me yeah. find him. He might be out here right. Let me Is see. He gone? Let me see. Let me see. He might be outside because his truck gone. He got a look. Grayson. <laughs> Grayson. Grayson. Come now here. you know that's a real serious name right there. Somebody want to talk to you. Come here. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? Start running like that before you fire. Come here. Somebody want to talk to you. He be he having outside. me crying. He outside riding his. He outside. Here he is. He outside riding. Oh, with his mask on. Hi, baby. So, look, look, look. We got the same hair, baby. We on the same boat. <laughs> <laughs> Take your mask down where she can see your face. Yes. Tell your name. Gracious. Gracious. I, 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 stop moving like that. What's the matter with you? Look in the camera. Say, say tell her your name. Gracious. Smiling. Grayson. Oh, I am so adorable. Hey, thank you. Oh, thank you. Throw him yeah. up. Throw him up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so before we get out of here, I, I know you got to get back to the baby. So listen, what do you yeah. feel about Lil Bootsy and, and him doing the Kappa thing? Is that, is that, let me know the etiquette because I'm unaware and I think the yeah. world is. I mean, I mean, you know, uh, uh, I, I, I just think he didn't, he didn't know, you know, he didn't really understand. Uh, it's, it's a very, uh, these, you know, people take Greek, our uh, Greek stuff really, really serious. Yeah. I, I, I don't, I think he was just trying to show love to the Kappas because his brother's a Kappa, 
And he went and bought the jacket. I don't think he was trying to disrespect any of the Divine Nine organizations. So, yeah, yeah, yeah it, 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 it's, you know, some people, like, they have perp alerts, right? They have these websites where people are actually perping the frat, pretending as if they went to college and pledged the organization at such and such chapter. So people like that get put on perp alerts. You get right. Put blast. But, but, but somebody like Lil Boosie was just wearing the jacket for the colors and didn't know what he had on and <laughs> didn't realize that you have to actually pledge. So I don't think Lil Boosie meant, meant no disrespect. No. You know, I, seen, I seen an old white lady with a Q shirt on. That's what I'm that saying. So how do the Qs feel about it? I mean, how do you guys? <laughs> yeah, we, we all feel the same about it. Like, we, we take it serious because, you know, the Greek letters, you know, they, 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 um, uh, mean something and stuff, and people just should not wear them. Uh, period. If you're not a member, really? of the, yeah, you can't wear it if you're not a member of the organization. I, 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 I went to, I went to a, uh, I went to a party in high school. Uh -huh. I, I went to a Q party in high school. And I was in there, and I saw the Qs throwing them up, and I did like that. Next thing you know, I was surrounded. Uh, I was like, I am so sorry. They like, yeah, you have to be a member of this organization. You can't be in here barking. And throwing up the hooks. So luckily, they didn't. They didn't remember me from high school. Oh, so I better not. I, I should keep it to myself. I, I mean, yeah, don't you know? You know what you just did was cool because you just did it because I did it, but you're not right. doing it to disrespect the organization. Right. You know what I'm saying? This is so, like it sounds like a gang. I'm scared. Nah, nah, nah. It's not. It's not a gang. You got a lot of Omega men around here. Like, uh, you got a lot of uh, congressmen. That's yeah. Omega. Minister Louis Farrakhan is an Omega. Shaq is an Omega. Michael wow. Jordan. Uh, uh, you know, you, you got a lot of people. Stephen A. Smith is an Omega, you know. Mm. And uh, it's, it's, it's a deep, deep organization that do a lot of wonderful things uh, in the community. And uh, it, it's, it's, all, it's all good. We ain't, we, it ain't that serious. Well, that's good. That's good. Because I know I'm probably sure that he was trying to just show some love and didn't know about it or whatever. But oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad that it came out, though, because now we educated on it and we don't we didn't understand that. Like, you know, like, what, so what can we do? What can't we do? You know what I'm saying? Because definitely don't want to disrespect the, the organizations of of any of, um, you know, that's, right. not, that's not good. Yeah, just just show love and, and make donations because we do a lot of stuff in the community. We help a lot of people. Uh, we feed a lot of people. We send a lot of kids to college, a lot of scholarships. Mm. Um, our four uh, cardinal principles is manhood, perseverance, scholarship, and uplift. So we do a lot of wonderful things in the community. And uh, I'm actually a very, very proud member of the sci-fi. Uh, I just celebrated 20 years in the fret, so... Wow! Shout out, to, shout out to the congratulations on that. Yeah, yeah. Thyroid yeah. chapter Kappa Beta, Kappa Beta Alpha, Alpha Phi, Gamma Gamma. That's uh, a lot. Of <laughs> Alpha, Alpha, what? Okay, that would just drive me crazy. I couldn't. Okay, I can't keep up. Jeez, yes. I'm so happy for you, and I'm so, so happy. Come on, my show and sing live. I know what I would love to. I would love to. I want to be on the cruise and all that. Like, you know what I mean? Um, I just got back with Ron Fair, who is the guy that signed me and my first record deal. So I'm super excited to be back with him. And so we're doing the album now, but the Corona can't, you know, did all that. But it's good because I have a home studio like you. I have a home studio. I can record you know here. I what? got an idea. I'm going to play, I'm going to play your, I'm going to play your ballad on my show. Because I do this thing on my show called Songs That Would Be In Your Head All Day. So mm -hmm. I play these songs that everybody loves, and it's always like a sweet spot in the song, right? Yeah. You know, like, 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 all this love, just waiting for you. Mm -hmm. But then when he say, mm -hmm. fun has its place up in the sky. I love you <laughs> so dearly. <laughs> See, I find those little spots. Yeah, so I'm playing. I'm playing love in the morning. Okay, I'm playing love in the morning, and, and we're gonna drive. And I always tell little stories behind the song because they take you back, like who you was with. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like I can play like the other day, like only you can make me happy. Hey, oh, happy. <laughs> That'd be um, crazy. Oh Lord, I don't remember. Songs that have your ass in your feelings. Wait, y'all do it live? 
No, I mean, we, yeah, we do it live. I just play the song and we talk about it and everybody go back down memory lane, who you was with, oh, who okay. fuck up with you, you know, songs that like really have you in your feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to check it out then. I'm going to check yeah. it out. I got to check y'all out and see what's So I'm up. playing your song in the morning though. Okay, I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen. Yes, sir. Because it's syndicated. Huh? I can listen from California. Yes, you can. We are on the radio everywhere in over 100 cities. So we will be playing your song tomorrow. So Believe where that. do I go to check it out if I'm in California? Just go to, uh, you can have, uh, in LA, if you're in LA, you got to go to RickaSmileTheMorningShow.com. Okay. But it's crazy because we own in Portland, we own in Seattle, but uh, not in LA, but go, just go to RickaSmileTheMorningShow.com. Okay. Okay, yeah. I'm going to check you out. I thank you so much. I love you so much, Ricky. And you know, I really I love appreciate you, you. I know, you know I know. My, you know you're my little sister forever. I know. I already know you always show me love. No matter what they were saying about me. Nah, I'm having you up here. I don't care. Like, that's right. what I'm talking about. Hey, you know, you know I don't play about you. Right. When I felt my back was against the wall plenty of times, I'm like, Ricky was like, nah, get up here. Right. So. Hey, hey. Hey, I will get on the phone. I'm like, call me now. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna um, actually tell, give my number to Thomas to give to you so that you can text me anytime. Anytime you need me, I'm here for you. I love you, okay? Okay, hey, same here. Love you too. I'm proud okay. of you. Keep doing what you're doing. I will. Thank you. God right, bless you. <laughs>